Well, I was born in 1919. Uh, my grandfather, who gave his name to the uh, village pub, was al already dead. He died in 1911. And what was his name? Uh, Patrick. Patrick Hopkins. Hopkins yeah. Yes. And uh, he couldn't ha uh, have the license mm. for the pub because he had the pilot's license. Okay. So it was licensed out to one of the cousins, I think one of the Kellys from Island Moor. And after that, it was in my grandmother's name till she died. And my father, who was the youngest son in, in the family, got up after that. And in those years, we had a terrible storm, like we had a few years ago. Yeah. And uh, we were flooded. Mm. Um, I, I, it was at six o'clock in the morning, I think. And my mother came up for me uh, to get me up. Mm -hmm. And I saw this, I thought it was coming through the fireplace, this yeah. water. What's that? That's the tide, she said. <laughs> and we had, we have to put our coats on. Mrs. Welsh said, we can go up there. And they were up the hill a bit. Okay, yeah. And Mrs. Welsh had a big fire on. And we sat around the fire. And my sister fell in. Into the fire? Into the fire. The arm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> well, that upset my mother more than the flooding. Uh, but, so she had to be attended to. Yeah. But the morning was after that we moved out to Rosmalley. You know, Rosmalley. Yeah, Rosmalley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and while they built the house beside the sheep. Beside the sheep, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and do you remember the she bean? Do you remember the she bean? Oh, very well. It wasn't the she bean there then. Oh, no. No. It, was it wasn't the she bean, it was just Hopkins. Hopkins, yeah. Yes. And my grandmother was kind of. She, we had the rosary every evening at six o'clock. No. And she'd be saying the rosary. John, did Thomas Gibbon pay for that last pint? <laughs> <laughs> and the, the, the sons would be waiting for this because she wouldn't let them leave until she'd said the rosary. Oh, okay. Yeah, they couldn't go out mm. for the night. And was it a busy pub that time? Was it busy, the pub? Um, it was, but not. Uh, there wasn't much money. We had our own troubles, the country, I mean. Oh, yeah. When we were in mm. 21. Mm. All that. Civil War. There wasn't, and then the Civil War, mm. there wasn't much money around mm -hmm. anywhere. And, uh, well, there a grocery shop attached to it. Ah, oh, yes, yeah. the usual. Oh, that, that's the way there were. All the pubs were that, went that way at that time. It did, yes. Mm. It was. Uh, but um, that my uh, only memory, I think, of the Civil War and what preceded it, was playing outside with Paddy. We were very small, I think. There was a year between us. Mm. And uh, the next thing my mother rushed out and grabbed the two of us by the arm. I couldn't think what, what was happening. These lorry load of soldiers were coming down the hill, firing into the air full of themselves, you know, and um, we had to be hidden. <laughs> and were, the, were they the black and tans? Well, I, I think they were the black and tans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, as far as I, I know, that's who they would have been at the time, because I know we were very young, very mm. small. Padding might have been less than two even. Okay. Yeah. 
And where did you go to school then? Uh, I went to school when I was four down at the Key. The Key School, yeah. Mm -hmm. To Miss Conway. Which is knocked down now, gone now. The old school is gone, yeah? Yes. Mm. Yeah. The new one there, yeah? And who was your teacher? Uh, that was Miss Conway. Conway. That, uh, and she, she was so nice to us all, you know. Very gentle. Um, compared with what followed. <laughs> Not were, so gentle. Yeah. Were there many in your class? There were, there were, at the school at that time, there were about a hundred. In the school? Yes, all together. And how many teachers were in it? Two. Only two? Only two. Yeah. And who was the other one? That time? This Jack Flatley Jack and Flatley. Chrissy Gibbons. Gibbons. Yes, and they got married before I left the key school. The two of them? Yeah. Together, yeah? Yeah. Okay. And what did you learn in school that time? Well, I went to England when I was 12 to this uh, high school, they call it. But in the National School in Ireland, what did you learn? Yes. Well, they were impressed. Impressed, yeah. They were, yeah. By what you knew? Yes. From the Irish school? What I had learned, a limited number of subjects. Mm. Like, um, uh, well, the usual three. Mm. And I was probably better than their, their standard. Mm. But of course, they knew a lot more things like botany and stuff I'd never heard of. <laughs> History, which I loved from the mm. beginning. Took that in. But you'd done history at, in, the, in the key school? I didn't learn any, yeah. but I did in England. In England, but in Ireland, no? No. Irish I, history, no? I was too young, okay. I think. Mm. Um, it, it never came out. We'd hear something about the Fianna or something like that. Yeah, old history, yeah. It was all... Um, and how many, rooms were, how many rooms were in the key school that time? How many rooms had you? Two. Two. But there weren't, so there was one, but divided. Divided, yeah. Yeah, the lower classes up there, and the other, them inside the front row. It must be very crowded, was it? With a hundred people. It was, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think we ever thought. <laughs> it was a bit... I mean, they, they were... They were rough enough, the key lads. Were they, yeah? Yeah. Were, yeah. Mm. And how was it heated? Had you fire in it? Had you electricity in it? Oh, no. What did you have? Well, we, I can't remember being there in the dark, but we had a fire. Yeah, I fire. remember that. Mm. And sometimes we could stand round the fire, mm. which was very cold, and uh, with the teacher. And did you have to pay for the fire, or did you have to bring the turf? No, I don't remember. I don't know. Yeah, you don't uh, know, yeah. yeah. So you went to England when you were 12 then? Sorry? You went to England when you were 12? I was. And you went to school there? And when my mother had built it all up, oh, it's gorgeous. You think she was talking about the south of France. It was lovely. And where did you go to? Wimborne in Dorset. Dorset. It was a market town. Mm. So it was a real country place. And the, there were local farmers with good land, mm. very good land. We used to be invited for the strawberries and uh, things like that. You know. And how many of you went over at the time? I went with my cousin. Which, you went to your cousin? Did your parents go? Oh no. Oh yes, my mother came. Yeah. No, a cousin came with us. Yeah. She was three years older than me. Mm -hmm. So she was in a, another class. And she had different friends, but we both made friends very easily. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, Did you she, go to a boarding school? It was, I was a board. You were a board. We were both uh, board board boarders. Uh, and the, what was the name of the school? Saint Cuthbergers. It's um. A uh, Saxon name, eh? mm. a Saxon saint, apparently, mm. in the region. <laughs> and and they, what town was that in? Uh, oh, 
Go on, you're okay. I was thinking about my history and I can't remember. Uh, Saxon before the Norman. Mm, okay. Yeah. And what subject did you do there? Sorry? What did you do? What did you study? Um, well, everything. Of everything. Course, because I, it was still a general yeah. education. Yeah. Um, what I was left remembering, I think, was history. History. And that stayed with me the rest of my life. It's a great interest. Yes. Yeah. yeah we should true. learn from it. Yeah, yeah we don't. <laughs> 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 well, I was a, a tour guide in the, this country, and uh, I hadn't, it was all English and foreign history I'd learned, mm. so I had to do a course mm. with the, of Irish history mm. and everything Irish mm. uh, to, to guide the tourists. So when was that? Uh, when we came back from England in 1964. 64. Yeah. So tourism was starting off here. I went, yes, I went to England, as I said, in 1931. And um, stayed, that was, yeah, 31 mm. to... So you were 30, 30 years there, yeah, more than 30 years, yeah. My mother came with us and uh, she was a great favourite, of course, I don't know if you knew her. I didn't know her, no. Uh, no. no. She no. was something else. Mm -hmm. And was she, what age did she die at? 91. 91. And did she die in England or in Ireland? She, well, she died here. Oh, dear, yeah. Well, she was here always. Mm. She came from Roscommon, but she got to love Ross Bedick. Mm. Did your father um, go to England? No, he was a pilot. Oh, he was a pilot? On, in the bay. On, a, on the bay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, Do you remember him being a pilot on the bay? Very much. Yeah. Yes. I was the one who would be on my knees worrying if it was a bad evening. Mm. My mother was lucky enough not to be a worrier. Mm. And were you ever on his boat? Oh, yes. Mm. Can you remember the name of the boat? Uh, I mean, he's piloted several boats. Okay. Into, and we were often asked to, for a meal, or would they give us uh, soup? Hmm. <laughs> what else? Hard biscuits. Biscuits. And were there many boats coming in that time? There were. Um, before Deb got in. Before Deb got in, yeah. Yeah. Uh, there'd be three a week or so. Three a week, yeah. Yeah. And uh, we were usually invited to one of them. To, to go on board, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Uh, a lot of Welsh, he made friends with the Welsh captains. Mm. And they, of course, loved music. Mm. And my mother was a lovely singer, and she mm. played the piano. Uh, so they used to come back. And would she play in the pub? Uh, yeah, well, uh, at the private part of it. The, the private part, yeah. yeah. For the guests. <laughs> <laughs> the sitting room. Uh, and were the, would, the, would the locals come into the pub that time now, like they do now? Would there be local lads coming in, yeah? Would there be? Locals coming into the pub. Oh, Lord, yes. Mm. Uh, 